Hello everybody, welcome to the video. My name is Preston and this is the first ever episode of Studio Sessions where I take you behind the scenes to learn the process and the backstory of my song. Let's hop right in. So you guys, I have started this series to dive into my music that I've created. I just dropped my album, Legacy. You can go check it out on all streaming services. I'll have a link in the description, in my bio, if you follow my Instagram. You know what? It, it, it'll all be there. Don't, don't, don't even For my first episode, I wanted to cover Ride or Die because this is my first song in the album, Legacy. As I said, go check it out. This song is just, it's just a bop. I, I know. So this song is about a relationship, kind of at the very start, you know, where it's like, okay, I see you, I see you. What makes me want to hang out with you? What's, what makes you a good person to be around? Ride or die is a phrase, well, you, you probably know what it means. But for those of you that don't know what it means, ride or die basically means you're all in, no matter what happens, we're good. I started writing this song while I was on vacation. It was about the end of June, and I just really, I had had a creative like drought, and I could not write anything, but I went on this vacation, and I forced myself to at least write one song every day, and this, this was the one that was like, oh man, this is awesome. June 29th, I started writing this. As I said, I was forcing myself to write a song every day, so I didn't really come back to it until I came back from the vacation. At the start of a relationship, you can think it's going really good, but what's really gonna carry over to, you know, say two years later, you're still friends or you're still dating. What What is that like breaking point? I, I really think that the ride or die analogy is just, it's just really good. I might've got the idea from Go by the Kid Leroy, probably Die For Me by Post Malone, probably even Lil Tecca, what, what was it? Oh, he's Ransom, there we go. I need a me a die rider, I need me to one. I said die rider because I was gonna say ride or die, but like the syllables didn't fit, so I just flipped it and then it fit. So really, that's kind of the backstory of it, and I will dive into more of the backstory as I get into the lyrics, so let's hop right in. Preston, shut up. So this little intro part, this is my tag. This is what I put on all my beats so that everyone knows that I made it. This girl I know is well recorded the Preston shut up tag, and I just kind of use it in all my songs because, you know, I kind of use the tag as like an app would, like a photo editing app, how they have their little watermark or YouTube videos or photographers kind of have it like all over. And I really just wanted to add that in so that that way people can't take your stuff and say it's theirs. That's the importance of a tag. Oh yeah, shout out Isabel. Tell me, would you ride for me? Would you ride for me? Would you ride for me? Oh, would you ride for me? Tell me, would you die for me? Would you die for me? So basically it's tell me, would you ride for me? And would you die for me? Just repeat it a bunch of times. So ride or die, ride for me, die for me. Kind of goes together, but again, what I said about ride or die, that's really what it's all about. So let's hop into the verse. I know I've been living life too fast, no privacy. So that's kind of the thing about when I was working on this album, I was working so busy, trying to get everything done so fast, but the vacation was kind of a break from this fast life. I know I'm not really living fast. I don't have shows every night, no, none of that. But for me, this is pretty fast and I'm not gonna compare myself to these artists that have been doing this for a very long time. So I really just started this year. Can't hide from my past, you know that that ain't right for me. I've been tripping on a lot, so would you cry for me? If I was all alone so lonely, would you write to me? The past, for me at least, just everything from the past, you know, I know it makes me who I am, but sometimes it can be hard to get away from that. This also goes with my song, Legacy, which is the title track at the very end of the album. My friend Brady helped me write that song, so shout out, Brady. If I was all alone so lonely, would you write to me? If I was all alone, would you, would you still stay in contact with me? Or are you just gonna leave my phone dry and just, it's not cool. Me. Do you got my back or will you twist that knife and twist me? Backstabber like my last blast from the past. She lied to me. So this line was crazy. This is probably my favorite in the song. So, you know, you got my back. You you got me, you know? You know, the exes, the backstabbers, you know. We don't, we don't, we don't mess with them anymore. I used to be, uh, like, obsessed with uh, collecting video games. Just kind of a weird thing I did when I was younger. Blast from the past. You see these, uh, at GameStop, these Blast from the past collections, like, these like Xbox 360, all these games that I played. Like, man, I just I just remember looking at those all the time, thinking they were so cool. So that's where Blast from the Past comes from. She lied to me, said bye to me, but she don't got your eyes, no, she won't find no other guy like me. She might have been cool back then, but now we're done. 
Four months did five damn songs, I did it quietly Really this whole album was a secret until I announced it and everyone was just kind of like surprised, you know No one really saw it coming and I'm just super happy that it's out <laughs> All this hard work really just, it all paid off You can't just sit around waiting for something, some miracle to happen You really just gotta go for it, you know Then we go right back in the chorus, I'll meet you at verse 2 We all make a move When I saw you cross the room, I got my sights on you I say quit playing, this is a game for two. All right, so this part was just kind of like that interlude, you know, just, it's just the melody and you're just kind of got that feel, you know? Red Dot. Play a lot of video games. Um, I mean, who doesn't? And in a lot of games, especially Rainbow Six Siege, that Red Dot site, we got a one shot. That's all I need, one shot. I say quit playing, this is a game for two. That kind of goes back with the Red Dot, you know, video games, all that. For two, right? I'm side is you. We gonna blow up like some pyro rock. Yeah, my you. Over quarantine, I've been kind of getting back into my old shows that I used to watch. I've been watching like Scooby Doo with my brother. I've been watching Pokemon. But I mean, like Team Rocket from Pokemon, I always hated them. So I had to add that in there. Their outfits are on point, though. Like, just look at this. Team Rocket blast off at the speed of light. What makes you stand out in a crowd of those who fight for me? What makes you so special? What makes you so much different? And better like you know it just flows so nice this next part is crazy what you want from me don't cry for me and like a safe in a bank don't lie to me chase banks you know it really is a paper chase everyone's trying to get the money uh so you know chase banks is a i little mosey uses it in a lot of his songs i don't have an account at chase banks but I mean, I always see their ads on TV. So let's add some of that spiciness into this track. Fox should define as the more than meets the eye to you. This part, the more than meets the eye to you, was the thing to Transformers and the Fox is Megan Fox. And I mean, Megan Fox. If 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 you're watching this video, I mean, like a Fox that is fine. I mean, that's all I gotta say. What makes you think that I'm the guy for you? I don't get along with some people, so I'm, I might still slide with you. I might get along with you. It, it you know, it, it could be all good. Just gotta put in the work. Who have I with you? Am I the type for you? She can throw it back, but can she make it right with you? She might be bad, but she make it right with you. Gotta have that little like, then we go right back in the chorus. And then boom, and there you go. You got my song, Ride or Die. That's how I made it. That's a little bit of the backstory. If you enjoyed this series, please be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button as hard as my punchlines hit, and I will see you guys later. Yes, if you wanna stream this song, it's on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, wherever you want. Link is in the description. See ya. Tell me, would you ride for me? Would you